Yes, hello. This video will show you how to install the Wang Hao D7 box. And uh, you have this power supply uh, for the box. And uh, you have, if you have the, already have the D7, so you got the two cable. One USB cable, one is HDMI cable. So now let's start. Plug in the power supply of the printer. Then uh, open the USB cable. Insert it into your printer. And here, uh, here are two USB sockets. So you can choose uh, either of them. Both OK. Then you, you connect to the HDMI cable. Invert one side into your printer, the other side into the box. Then you need to power on. Okay, invert it so it can initialize. You need to turn on the printer. So the printer is on and uh, the box is uh, initializing. It will take uh, uh, one minute uh, for the box to start. And uh, you can copy all the file, uh, the printing file from the CW into onto your desktop. Then you copy that file into your uh, flash disk. So this one is already have, already get it. So we invert the flash disk into the uh, USB socket. Okay, it's on. So now let's go to the function of it. Yeah, we can, we, actually you can start the printing. And here's, this is a file. There's no file inside. Uh, you, you plus plus and the first one here if you if you choose it you can plus OK so it will start printing and if you want to stop it you click stop Yeah, okay, so let's calibrate. Uh, uh, let's use this box to control the printer. So after initializing, there are three function button. Printing, ut utility, and sitting. Uh, if you want to start printing, uh, uh, if you already calibrated your printer, so you don't have to do this. But if not, you need to go to the utility. First, let's check the, if the LCD is all right or not. So click the LCD button. Uh, so you will see the it's on the LCD is on, so we turn it off. So we check the uh, z-axis uh, whether it can move or not. Let's go down, go up, and back, and uh, so the axis is functioning. Let's go to the leveling level. So here's the instruction on how to level the printer. So tighten the control knob and uh, loosen the four screws. So lose the four screw. So you can move that platform up and down easily. Then you go next. Uh, after homing, press down the platform to touch the FEP film with one hand. Tighten the four screws by the other hand. So it's uh, starting to falling down. Then you need to press the platform to touch the FEP film. So we just wait. It's uh, starting lowering. Uh, 
Okay, so it's really down. Then you need to screw up the four bolts while pushing the plate so it, uh, to ensure the correct contact of the plate. Okay, so after this you can press OK. Done. Uh, you have already finished the calibration of the printer. So let's go to the the other function. Uh, power, let's go back and we can go to the setting and here restore factory setting. Uh, if you have changed something you, you may use this uh, function or you can go about. This will show you the uh, the, the, the printing, the, the information of this printer. And uh, it's a uh, version and uh, the, the support uh, website. So let's go back. Go back. And uh, now we can start something. Uh, we have already inverted the file, uh, which you copy from the CW creation workshop. You can save the printing file on the onto your desk and copy it into the flash disk. So let's go printing. Press printing and you need to add the file. So you, you click the plus. So all the file will turn out. And, uh, and uh, for, for this uh, box, it's read CWS file. So click this one. And uh, it's a uh, turning read and you click OK. So this box is starting printing. And if you want to terminate it, uh, you can click uh, this button, or if you want to change, let's try it. Terminate it. Are you sure you want to stop canceling printing? Yes. So let's again adding the file and click OK. It will starting. Okay, it will start. Uh, this is a dry run. I didn't pour the uh, resin inside, but we just check the function. Okay, so we will start to have a dry run on this printer. So first we need to move the uh, the axis up so we can check. So let's go to utility, the axis. Let's move up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight centimeters. Okay, so then we go back. Uh, so let's go to the printing, add the file, load CWS, click OK, and then we push the button, start. Uh, so can you see? A, a image is out. So actually it's running. This is the first layer, so it will it would it would take a little bit longer. Okay.